Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about laboratory calculations and here's a problem. You are preparing an agarose gel to run your PCR products on. Your products are 800 base pairs and 1.2 kilobase. From the list below what mass of agarose would be appropriate if you plan to make up to 50 milliliters of gel and here's the variants to choose from. Let's check variant A. If we take 5 grams of agarose and dissolve in 50 milliliters of water, we are going to get 10% agarose concentration in a gel. This is too strong. Let's check variant B. This time, in order to make our calculations easier, I want to increase 50 milliliters to 100 milliliters and that means that we also have to increase 0 0.1 to 0 0.2. So if we increase this volume by 2 then we have to increase uh, 0 0.1 also multiply by 2 and we are going to get 0 0.2. So we take 0 0.2 grams of the agarose, we dissolve in 100 milliliters and we see that the concentration is going to be 0 0.2, which is too weak. Again, it's not necessary to multiply by 2. You also can use original numbers, 0 0.1 gram. You dissolve in 50 milliliters and the concentration is going to be the same, 0.2%. This concentration of the agarose is too weak. Let's check variant C. Again, instead of 0 0.5 gram, we can take 1 gram. So we increase mass of the agarose by factor 2. Also, we have to increase uh, volume of the milliliters. Instead of 50, let's take 100 milliliters. It's clearly seen that concentration is going to be 1 percent. Again, you can use original numbers. It's going to equal to 0 0.5 grams. If we dissolve in 50 milliliters, we are going to get the same concentration of 1 percent. And this is exactly what we are looking for when we want to separate bands between 800 and 1200 base pairs with gel electrophoresis and now let's check variant D. It's a little bit more complicated because here we have serial dilution and here in the first dilution it is obvious that we are going to get 1 to 10 or 1 tenth concentration and with the next step we are going to get 100 fold dilution. So 1 divided by 100. And if we multiply these two numbers, we are going to get dilution, which is going to be 1 thousandth of original concentration, which is 100%. So decimal number is going to be 0.1% is going to be concentration of the agarose in this gel, which is too weak. So 10% is too strong, 0.2% is too weak, 0.1% is too weak, but 1% is exact concentration, what we are looking for in order to separate bands of this size. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.